In this video, we're going to show you how to install the crank sensor on your Kia Sorento located on the back side of your engine. So with the vehicle lifted, you're going to come up just above the front prop shaft behind the engine. And this metal cover right here needs to come off. Right here is the wire that goes to the sensor itself, or the crank sensor. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right here and one right here. So I'm reaching way up in there. I'm gonna use my extension with a swivel socket on there. And we need to remove this cover. Now what I'm doing is I'm loosening that bolt quite a bit, but I'm not taking it all away because if you drop it, it might be gone for good. This is up in there. My shoulder is pretty much up inside the center portion of the tunnel here. Okay. And pull that out. Right there is a crank sensor. We want to go ahead and get to that. Now what I'm using here is a shallow 10 millimeter socket with a six inch extension in my ratchet. Now the trick here is that this sensor is not straight on. It goes in at an angle. So that sensor almost goes down. It's not flush facing you. Once you break that free, that bolt itself, is it just comes loose. So I'm going to reach up there. And try and spin that out. If not, I can put my socket back on there with the extension. And I should be able to spin that out by hand. There it is. Now once again, I'm not going to drop that bolt. We need to reuse that. There it is. Now the sensor is held into the block. There's an O-ring on this. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna try and spin it a little bit. Now the top of it, right here where the bolt went into, if we can rotate that a little bit, There it is. See how I spun it off to the side here? I spun it off to the side here and you can get your fingers behind it and pull out. And there you have it right there. Now you're gonna follow the wire harness up. There's a little retainer up here, a little bit further up. You're gonna pop that plastic retainer out and then we're gonna go up into the engine compartment and disconnect the other end of this unit. And here we have our sensor. And if you follow the wire up, you're gonna notice that there's three connectors here. The one we need to access is this third one right here. So you're gonna grab that and you're gonna pull that up out of the bracket that it's sitting in. I'm gonna pull this up a little bit, gain access to that. Now right here is a metal spring clip. What you want to do is we're going to push in on this. If you push in, see it moving? It's unlocking the two connectors. So you're going to push in on that and separate these two. Have it separated. Go ahead and grab that. I'm going to feed that down through. Now you want to pay attention of how that's run. It's going to make it easier for routing it later on. So it pretty much goes underneath all of those wires and right up to that side. You can go ahead and remove that part from the vehicle. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to install just the reverse. Go ahead and take that connector, feed that up underneath the other harnesses here, underneath the other wires. Grab that connector. I'm gonna go ahead and clip this together. Here it is. Give it a little wiggle, make sure that's locked into place. 
Now, if you notice on the connector here, there's a thin side here and a thin side here. It fits into the little lock tab down there, a little spring clip per se. I'm gonna feed this down, put that back in here. And you just push it down into it. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and take our sensor here. Go ahead and get that lined up. Now it does help to put a little bit of engine oil on that O-ring if you're having a hard time getting that in. It does help slide that seal right into that. I'm gonna go ahead and reach up and get this bolt put in on the top. Now once you get that bolt lined up, you should be able to start that and get that going by hand. I'm gonna thread that in as far as I can. Now what I'm gonna do is gently snug that down. I'm just gonna use my socket and an extension here to run that down further and grab that extension a bit tighter than you can just with you grabbing that bolt with your fingertips. And I'll put my ratchet on there. Gently snug it. You want to go ahead and torque down this bolt to 8.7 foot-pounds if you have the ability to do so. It's very, very critical that you do do it. And there it is right there. Now here's that harness right here and right on the lower portion of the thermoset housing, this little tab right here, this is where your wiring harness plugs into as far as that little retainer tab. There it is. That just keeps it out of the way. Make sure you take care of that. I want to get our heat shield up and in here. Now what I'm going to try and do, and you can do it differently, I'm going to try and put the bolt through the hole in the heat shield and then go ahead and line that up onto that. There it is. Let's see if I can get that started by hand with a heat shield dangling off of it. With that upper bolt in, we'll go ahead and reach over and get the one on the side. Now these bolts they do thread in real easy. I get them both run all the way down by hand. I'm gonna go ahead and put my extension on here. And go ahead and snug these down. Once that bottom's out, just give it a little, little extra on that. And go ahead and snug that down. Okay, our part is installed. At this point here, if you do have a check engine light on in the vehicle because of the sensor, go ahead and use a proper scan tool, clear that code, go for a road test. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.